Greetings, wise ones, and welcome or welcome back to the Eighth House Wisdom channel. I'm Melissa of Eighth House Wisdom, author, psychotherapist, business astrologer, feminine energy and stellar planning expert. On this channel, we help you leverage the power and wisdom of the moon cycles through astrology and lunar wisdom formula applications for business with female entrepreneurs, leaders, executives, and professionals. Today, I'm here with a business astrology focused video on the potent energies of Taurus season and the transformative Kazemis of Uranus and Jupiter. We're gonna explore the energy of this truly blessed week of astrology, how blending the Taurus and Leo archetypes can enhance stability and practicality in business because we have the first quarter moon in Leo, as well as offer eight supportive energy business tools and tips for how to harness this information successfully for the remainder of tourist season. So grab your birth chart, your planner, and stay tuned for the rest of this video to learn more of how to tap into these blessings. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up to help me share this formula for alignment and soft living with more wise ones via the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel for more superstar business astrology applications to create alignment and balance your yin and yang energies, as well as experience more ease and flow in your business and career life by keeping you in your soft girl era. to the end of Taurus season and a powerful week of astrology. As we approach the final days of this financially focused season, it's really essential to know how we can tap into the grounded, earthy, steadfast energy of Taurus. And the May 15th First quarter moon in Leo can help us to do just that, especially since we have finally made it out of the Mercury retrograde pre-shadow on Monday, May 13th, giving us an all clear as it relates to communication. Mercury also changes signs on May 15th lining up with the first quarter moon, which takes us from brash and sassy communication to more calm and confident words, thinking, and learning styles. Since we are working with two fixed energies, we wanna know how to blend the stability and practicality of Taurus with the creativity and leadership of Leo. Blending these two archetypes can create a powerful foundation for entrepreneurial success. But there's still more to tap into this week. We are blessed with two auspicious Kazemis, which is essentially the conjunction or the meetup in the same place and in the same degree of the sun and another planet. And this week, it's both Uranus, the Awakener, and Jupiter, the expander, which is gonna amplify the transformative energies of the sun and of these two planets. My favorite astrology duo, the Astro Twins, refer to the sun and Jupiter Kazemi as a day of miracles. And this planetary meetup has the power to really help us manifest a truly miraculous event in the Taurus ruled area of our chart. And this is taking place on May 18th. But to start the week, in addition to Mercury coming out of its post shadow, on the 13th, we experience the Sun Uranus Kazemi, awakening us with 
strong, innovative, potentially digital and technology focused energy that is expanding the theme of the financial revolution that I have been talking about since Uranus is in the sign of money and personal finance. So this sets the stage for what we are currently dealing with within the astral weather of this week. Going forward, I wanna talk about how to explore and work with these particular celestial alignments as a female entrepreneur, leader, business owner, or professional to propel your business or career forward and experience great awakening and expansion and success. Thanks to all of the powerful aspects I just mentioned will be that will be providing their energetic signature and toning the feel and our intentions for the week. So make sure you have that copy of your birth chart handy so we can get into these tips. To apply the information in this video, click the link below to get a free copy of your birth chart. Understand your planetary placements and get your planet positions at birth so you know where all the signs are in your chart. Tip number one is strategic planning with a creative twist. When you blend Taurus's methodical approach with Leo's boundless creativity, you have an opportunity to develop strategic, structural, long-lasting plans that are both practical and innovative. Creating this kind of container allows you to actually tap into your inner creativity as it relates to your business, your particular industry, and most importantly, the way in which you monetize these gifts or receive compensation for them. Taurus and Leo are both fixed authority signs. So they bring with them a strong managing, organizing, and stick to it kind of energy that can be a real boost for our businesses during this, the heart of Q2. Tip number two, financial management with confidence. Again, we are in a financial revolution. And when you combine and utilize Taurus's financial savvy alongside Leo's confidence and ability to shine and take center stage, you have a potent cocktail to make bold but calculated financial decisions that can support your business, career, or initiative growth. It just depends on how and where you apply this information. And remember that since we had a Uranus Kazemi, we are open to innovation and insight in the financial sector that can pay off in really big ways. Tip number three is organizational systems with flair. If you know anything about the fixed or authority signs, that would be Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius, they are fabulous organizers. With the blend of Taurus and Leo energy, you have a gift in that you can create durable, long-lasting organizational systems and structures that when you add in Leo's flair for the dramatic can create efficient systems that reduce your work and simultaneously inspire and motivate your team. Bringing in aspects of the Uranus impact, those innovations around organization could utilize digital technology to really heighten its impact. Number four is leadership development with heart. With the first quarter moon in Leo, it is time for us to reflect back a week ago to the new moon in Taurus and take action and get clear 
on what steps we need to take to ensure that the seed that we planted just one week ago is able to break through the ground and start moving up towards the sun. When it comes to females in business, career, or entrepreneurship, being a leader is central to the work that you do. The current Taurus season energy provides us with a steadfast and patient quality about ourselves, allowing us to tap into the essence of Leo's passion and charisma to truly cultivate a supportive and empowering work culture that is both monetarily successful, but also heart-centered. Number five, embrace the unexpected with the Uranus Kazemi. Now, a Kazemi is an event where any planet meets up with and then appears to be consumed by the sun. From an astrological perspective, that means that the sun is at, let's say, 21 degrees. And then a planet also moves to the same degree point in the same sign. It's an aspect that is known as moving into the heart of the sun. And it's the inverse of planets making an invisible journey into the underground, which is essentially a retrograde, where they're gone from the night sky or they appear to be moving backwards. Instead, in a Kazemi, the planet is swallowed by the heart of the sun and passes through extreme spotlighting as the sun lends its power to shine on whichever planet is crossing its path. We're talking about Uranus, the Awakener, moving through the heart of the sun, which happened on Monday, May 13th, and we're still in that afterglow. Therefore, it's an important time for us to embrace change and innovation, to think about taking calculated risks, to push the boundaries of our business, especially when it comes to business values and business finances. Recognize that Uranus the Awakener is tied to Aquarius energy of the rebel and the maverick. It's sudden insights, sudden revolutions, sudden overflow. So do not be surprised if these are some of the influences that you experience throughout the remainder of this week. Number six is expand your horizons with Jupiter Kazemi. Again, this week we are blessed with not one, but two Kazemis creating a really potent atmosphere in the astro weather. Jupiter is the traditional ruling planet of Pisces and Sagittarius. It is known as the expander and is one of the benefics or really positive planets that travels throughout the zodiac. We're in the last days of Jupiter being in Taurus and so this wonderful Kazemi or Jupiter moving into the heart of the sun is essentially one of the parting gifts that it's providing for us before it moves into the next sign of Gemini. That means that now is the time for us to harness the expansive energy that a Jupiter Kazemi can bring to seek out new opportunities for growth and abundance in our business endeavors. It's important to look at what house in your chart is ruled by Taurus to get more specifics on how that will show up for you in your career and business life. Number seven is trust your intuition. Whenever we are talking about the phases of the moon, intuition is a key factor because that is one of the qualities or essences that is associated with the moon. But this week, it seems to be all about the sun, with Leo energy ruled by the sun, as well as two Kazemis, planets moving into the heart of the sun. Nonetheless, we still need our intuition online. During these powerful Kazemis and their afterglow, it is really important that you tune into your body and trust your intuition and inner guidance to navigate the currents of change and seize the opportunities that come up. You need to tap into your intuition because these are global impacts because of the astral weather and the way that this will play out in each person's life is different and what we are being called to do and what our intuition is nudging us to do 
is directly related to the downloads that we get specific to our chart and our life purpose. So you need to find ways to be able to trust the more lightning strike downloads that you can get during this week, especially with Uranus in play, so that you don't second guess the information that you're getting and that you can quickly empower yourself to take aligned action for your highest good. And last but not least is number eight, which is celebrate your successes. As a psychotherapist and life coach, this is one of the biggest things that I try to impart on my clients, that you have to develop a practice of self-celebration. Otherwise, you will become a junkie for achievement just to get pats on the back from other people. And that can be all well and good. Not that I suggest performing for other people, but when you work really hard and don't get a pat on the back, things tend to feel empty. And your actions are no less valid or valiant. They're just not being noticed by someone who is generous with their praise. That means we have to become that person. So I want to encourage you to remember to celebrate your achievements and milestones. Do not think of yourself as a braggart. Ignore your internal instincts that says that this is silly. Because if you're not doing this, you are creating a hunger that can be very difficult to satiate. Make sure that you acknowledge all the hard work and dedication that you have put into your business, your career, and your financial situation up to this point. Because feeling encouraged, feeling noticed, and an attitude of gratitude and celebration will remind you that you can do hard things and will actually allow you to do them again. Because doing hard things suck if no one, including yourself, is able to notice them and take stock of all that you have accomplished. So there you have it, wise ones. This is my summation for this week's astro weather, working with the end of Taurus season, the first quarter moon in Leo, and the transformative Kazemis of Uranus and Jupiter. I hope that the business tips and tools that are designed to help you work with the energy of the waxing phase of the moon, which supports active, masculine, yang, supportive energy structures, can allow you to really take flight and plant seeds for a wonderful harvest during tourist season 2024. I am so looking forward to May 18th, the Day of Miracles, to see what shows up in my life and how that plays a pivotal role in what happens for the rest of 2024. And I recommend that you mark this in your calendar and do some particular stellar planning around this event or Cassini in your life. May you experience your very own miracles that transform your life and business, especially as we move towards a Jupiter ruled full moon, which is a full moon in Sagittarius, which will be occurring once we cross the threshold into Gemini season. And that's just next week. So I hope that this information has been helpful for you and it is my intention that it supports you in recognizing that soft life and soft living is not just about having luxury things, although it can be. It's really about learning how to work with the phases of energy to stay in alignment so that you are active when it's favored and you rest when it's favored and can get into the proper rhythm of ebb and flow that matches the moon and her cycles. Because when we do that, we are successful, able to produce, and also able to remain in our feminine energy and experience a softer life. If you found these tips or this information helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more stellar planning and lunar wisdom formula content. And until next time, may the stars guide you on your entrepreneurial journey because life does come with an instruction manual. It's written in the stars. Until next time, wise ones, take care. Are you ready for a stellar breakthrough? 
In this 30 minute free stellar breakthrough analysis, we'll identify the top five things that might be holding you back from aligning to your personal stellar success cycles. And the one thing that you need to do to move forward into ease and grace. Current energy vibes, the year ahead, your story, whatever you need to discuss related to the flow, timing, and planning in your life, we can start to work it out using astrology. Book your private session today by clicking the link below or just come to the website and see what service works for you. I'd love to be your stellar planning and lunar wisdom formula guide to living a soft life in business and beyond. Check out my new Etsy store called Stellar Planning Tool to get some of my newest products to support you in applying stellar planning, the lunar wisdom formula, lunar self-care, and to expand your manifesting practice. My new series, The Wise Woman's Mindset and Self-Care Guides, are being offered exclusively on Etsy. These guides were created to assist you in living with more ease, grace, and with a process to make lasting change in your life. Check them out. Link is in the description below. Discover the keys to your life's path and purpose by reading the stars with a free personal astrology report sample from 8th House Wisdom. From obstacles to opportunities, these reports teach you what you need to know to thrive. Try out any of these eight types of astrology reports two multi-package reports and one tarot reading in the 8th House Wisdom Astro Report store before you buy them. They're available for immediate download and specific to you, your life, and your unique birth information. Self-care isn't selfish. It's absolutely necessary for a soft life. Click the link below to get my free top seven beauty therapy and self-care tips and the beauty therapy checklist. Learn to manifest by the moon with my astrology ebook, The Lunar Wisdom Formula. It helps women Stay in tune with feminine energy and manifest a life that feels as good as it looks. The 2023 edition comes with a bonus moon calendar and important dates. Click the link in the description below. Get more out of your beauty treatments and self-care by aligning them with the moon's mood and phase. In my astrology ebook, The Lunar Wisdom Formula for Beauty and Self-Care. This guide does all the hard work for you so you can get greater benefits from your self-care and live a softer life by the moon. Link in the description below. Introducing our newest book, Guide to Herbal Remedies, packed with information on how to use herbs and plants to promote health and well-being. The guide includes detailed information on a wide range of herbs and their healing properties, as well as recipes for teas, tinctures, and other remedies you can make at home. Whether you're looking to boost your immune system, reduce stress and anxiety, or treat common ailments, this guide has everything you need to get started with natural healing. Join us as we explore the world of herbal remedies and discover how you can use the power of plants to support your health and well-being. Plus, two bonus items for getting herbal tools and using herbs to smudge so you can round out your herbal med medicine cabinet and toolkit. Crystals are a fantastic tool to harmonize and ground your energy. Use my coupon code 8th House Wisdom 
for 11% off high quality ethically sourced crystals. Click the link in the description below to shop today. Think, speak, and grow in abundant 2024 by downloading a free copy of the 2024 Stellar Year Blueprint. It's my formula for applying astrology to align your life to the natural cycles for greater ease and grace. Click the link in the description below to download yours today. Get an in-depth look at the astrology of 2024 and more information about my stellar planning process with this free workshop, Stellar Planning for 2024. Think, speak, and grow an abundant new year. Click the link in the description below to watch now. Remember, wise ones, life does come with an instruction manual. It's written in the stars. Please like, share, and comment on this video. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Sending you so much light and love. Take care.